After going for a walk along the beach with Palyavetare and Parthipendra, Nandini was left alone for a while. She was deep in thought while looking at the ocean waves. Queen Mother. She looked back after hearing a voice. There stood the daughter-in-law of Tyagavadankar, the keeper of the lighthouse. Who are you? asked Nandini. My name is Rakamal. Where did you come from? Without replying to this, Rakamal stood staring at Nandini's face. What are you looking at? What's that on my face? Rakamal was startled and said, I'm sorry, when Amma saw them, I remembered another face. But, there can't be a day like that. What are you talking about? How can it not be? That dumb fanatic couldn't have anything to do with them. Who is she dumb? There is one in Elam. My father-in-law's great-grandfather's daughter. Sometimes she comes here too. What about her and me? That's what I said, the relationship can't be anything. Then why did she remember me when she saw me? My eyes are wrong. Their faces. Did her face look like that? It seemed so at first. Ragama. Is that dumb here now? No, mother. She rarely comes. Will you bring me when you come again? Why, Queen Mother? I want to see someone with a face like mine. Did I say that was the maze of my eyes? Why do you say that for sure? Queen. Are you from the Pandian country? Yes, you. I'm also a Pandian. The dumb one I mentioned earlier is a Chola. So. Never mind, others have told me of her as you have. Will you bring her to me? If you do, I will give you what you need. Queen. Bringing her in is like bringing in a whirlwind. She won't be where she was. She won't listen to what others say. Did I say she's crazy? Okay. Why are you here now? At least tell me that. Queen. Two people came here a few days ago. They gave their names. Why did they say my name? They said they had to go to Ceylon urgently for their business. I sent my husband to sail for them. Are you back? Didn't come. That's the worry, if something happened to him. Don't worry if anything happens. I'll take care of you if something like that happens. Do you know anything about the men on the boat? They're back. Just heard the owl call. Didn't you notice? I noticed. So what? Didn't you know it was the wizard's voice? How do you know that, are you a witch? Yes, queen. After saying that, Rakamal showed Kolam with her hand. Nandini stares at her in surprise and asks where are they now? Do you know? She asked. The wizard is waiting to see them. Come and see me. Why wait? The wizard does not want to meet Palava who has come here. She saw him in Elam. They do not want to see their husband. Did you see the witch? A while ago I heard the owl's voice. He told me to bring them. He said that Kulagar was hiding on the bank of the stream near the temple. Are you coming, Rani? And how can I go? Let's just say that the student is going to the temple. Good idea, don't you want another companion? No need. Sendan can take Amudan to accompany him. Who is he? Son of Tanjavar Mute. Shiva Shiva. How many dumb ones? This family is a cursed family. Some are born dumb. Some are dumb by mouth. My husband speaks so beautifully. I have planned not to speak. Is there a Sri Lankan mute? Do you know? She once gave birth to twins. No one knows what became of the children. I have been trying to find out the secret for many days. So far I have not succeeded. What is the Tanjafar Karan here for? His uncle has come looking for his daughter Pungazali. She is not there, so he is waiting. Where has she gone? I wanted to say it myself. Two more people came the next day after my husband took the magician in the boat. The men of Palvaur also came to catch them. My daughter took one of them in the boat and left for Ceylon late at night. 
Does she know how to sail? Her job is to launch the boat. When the boat is not launched, she wanders around the jungle. There is no nook and cranny in this forest that she does not know. If she hasn't come back yet, what do you make of that? They are shouting and beating that someone has drowned in the sea, I say it is not certain. After the trumpeter comes it will be certain. Couldn't that girl be full? She shall not be drowned. The sea shall cradle her. A and D. And, what? I was looking up at the top of the lighthouse a little ahead. It seemed like a boat was coming in the distance. After. Then it didn't come ashore. What would have happened? It might as well have left the boat in another marshy canal, seeing the crowd here on the beach. Is that even possible? Nothing is impossible for Pungajali. Tanjavar Karan also came to the top with me and watched. It seemed the same to him. Well, so be it, we can go to the Kulagar temple now, come. Shall we call Chandan Amudan for help? No. Let him look for his uncle's daughter. Let us not stand in the way. Both of them left for Kulagar temple. Rakamal, like Punguzali, was familiar with the burial pits of Kadakare. She carefully guided Nandini and took her away. Both reached Kulagar temple. Temple Butter was surprised to see them. Queen! What is it? that you have come alone at this time. Without retinue? Shouldn't you have told me beforehand? I would have been ready to welcome you. Said. Is this the time for all that? My lord. A great calamity has befallen the Chola country. They say that the prince, the apple of the Chola people's eye, has been carried away by the sea. I have come to appeal to Kulagar to save the prince and grant him grace. Said Nandini. Nothing like that will happen. Mother. Don't worry. Our daughter's lover will not be in any danger from Samadra Rajan. Said the gurus. Why are you so sure, Pater? The prince's birth star and ascendant are like that, Mother. Will the ocean carry the world born? Don't be sad. Pray for Kahakar. He will certainly save the prince, said Butter. After saying this, he offered Deeparat hand to Swami and gave him Thiruni. Amini. How glad you are to be in such a superior condition. Said. You know me before, Pater. Knowing Rani. I have seen it in Padayare. I have also seen it in Vekai Karekaval. What is there Tamayan, Tirumala, doing now? He is wandering from town to town singing the hymns of the Asvars. It has been a long time since I saw him. Even he's sorry about that, mother. He's upset that he never saw him after he became the queen of Palvur. Why should I do that, sir? Where I have entered, all are Paramasivas. He is also a valiant Vaishnava. He goes about fighting with the Sivas with the title of Alvarkadian. How can I join him? Shouldn't I act without the anger of the people who entered? Truth? Mother, truth. The important thing is to follow one's path ungrudgingly. Let the Alwarkadian go somehow. They both said goodbye to Butter and left. Are you going alone? If you wait a bit, I will come too. Nandini said, No, sir. Don't be in a hurry for us. This girl looks good all over the place. Besides, today is the day when the whole Kodi Kara is ready. There is nothing to fear. We are going, said Nandini. Both women came outside the temple. As Butter disappeared from sight, Rakamal took Nandi's hand and led her to the back of the temple. In no time they reached the bank of a stream thick with palm trees. They walked along the stream bank with the help of starlight.